Well, I spoke with District 3 Representative John Arguello, and he says that he's not surprised about all this, but he is very upset about the allegations made against one of the employees of their high schools. He says that more needs to be done to keep people like Figueroa out of the classroom. We have had many of these in our county. I, I would suspect, just based on um, my knowledge, that it's been more than most other schools. John Aguelo is outraged over the allegations made against former Celebration High School employee Samuel Figueroa. Figueroa is facing multiple charges, including lewd and lascivious molestation and conduct. Deputies say multiple teen girls came forward with allegations. The first time it had ever been mentioned to me was when uh, we got notification that the police had made an arrest or was about to make an arrest. The school district says a 43-year-old stepped down on March 27th after the allegations were brought to the county sheriffs. This time we have two different students who have come forward and have disclosed he has touched them in a sexual way. Osceola County Schools say Figueroa joined Celebration in August of 2018. He was a full-time student services teacher. He was also an assistant coach on the baseball and girls basketball team. And I'm not sure to what extent if anything prior was uh, reported to the school, we're looking into that also. A parent had contacted the sheriff's office in late March on behalf of their daughter. Deputies are looking into how long this kind of alleged conduct was going on. It could be other girls because uh, I don't think uh, somebody that does that kind of stuff is going to stop at the first occasion. Now, more charges could be coming against Figueroa as the investigation continues. Now, I also reached out to the school board to see if they have any previous reports of anybody coming forward about Figueroa, but they could not answer that at this time. In celebration, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News.